a Newsweek story that apparently misinterpreted the results of an opinion poll carried out by a Japanese news agency last week is creating a public stir. The headline of the story, published November 18 on Newsweek's website, concluded Japan wants war with North Korea's Kim Jong-un, not dialogue. New poll shows the GG Press survey in question, however, found that 53.9% of respondents support Japan and the United States using pressure to deal with North Korea, versus 39.4% who prefer dialogue. The survey didn't ask any questions about war as an option. Domestically, pressure is usually interpreted as meaning economic sanctions and tough diplomacy. On Friday, a TV Asahi show described the Newsweek story as shocking and a huge mistake. The website NetGeek meanwhile slammed Newsweek's article as fake news. The author of the article was Christina Silva. The Gigi Press survey was published on the Japan Times website on November 18, and the Newsweek story refers to the story as being reported by the Japan Times. The main text of Newsweek's story read roughly 54% of people surveyed, said they want Japan and the United States to take steps toward reigning in North Korea, but the sentence was worded differently in a caption for a video clip attached to the story. That caption said 53.9% of the Japanese public support using force against North Korea. The Japan Times on Friday requested an immediate correction for the headline and video captioned via Newsweek's correction page but had not received a response as of Friday evening. GG's poll, published November 17, was an interview-based survey conducted earlier this month over a four-day period on 2,000 people aged 18 years or over nationwide. GG received valid responses from 63% of those polled.